Hi guys, it's me. Um, my friend D right here uh, convinced me to come out of my vlogger sabbatical. Um, he just came back from Thailand, so I thought I'd take him here. This is Wat Thai Temple, and they have a food market in the back. And I'm gonna show him the food here and see if it's worth coming. Everything smells great. I can't wait. So let's go check it out, guys. Let's go, guys. guys so here they're all Buddhist so they don't believe in like money but they found a way so we had to exchange our cash for tokens and that's how we buy our food Hi. so this is the tokens that we're gonna use for the money thank you all right let's go guys she's rich <laughs> Ceci, what have you gotten so far? So far I got fried shrimp, I got pad thai somewhere there, and egg rolls. <laughs> so and it's a good start. That? And this is the best mango sticky rice. Right, while we wait for the pad thai to go, she's gonna go get her favorite Thai, thai tea, right? Thai tea, the best of the best. The best of I the mean, best, that's some high praise. I mean, while you're here, don't you feel like you're back in Thailand? A the weather, a the umbrellas. Bit. <laughs> the unorganized place. <laughs> a little bit. It does remind me a lot about Thailand. So I'm looking forward to trying the food. <laughs> but we're now in line for Thai tea. And a lot of this proceed goes to the temple. So we're technically eating to help them. <laughs> oh, that's great. You hear that, guys? Come eat. Come out. Come out. What's your name? My name, my name is Nidabran. And do you still go back to Thai? Thailand? Go back to Thailand? Yeah, typically try to go back every other year. But you were probably born here, right? I was born here. Yeah. Do you, but do you speak the language? I can speak the language. Very well? Very well. I would say well enough, right. conversationally. Yeah. yeah. Could you, would you be able to communicate with him? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? <laughs> yeah ask him some questions? Uh, yeah. Ask him how long he's been here. Almost 30 years now. 30 years. 30 years. How old are you? Oh, 53. Wow, and yeah, still, yeah, single, huh? still single, huh? Still single? Uh, yeah, single. Are you sure? Sure. Your wife might see this. It's okay, don't matter. <laughs> I have a lot of girlfriends. Oh, okay. <laughs> How many people work here? So, uh, typically we have around like five to six people working. Okay. Uh, definitely like a factory kind of thing. We right. Everybody on hand. And this is just like all day, you can just keep cooking, right? Yeah, yeah, we're just doing this all day from 8 to 5, Saturdays and Sundays. Wow. Yeah. We're trying to put it out there so that more people come here. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, I actually just found out about this place and he just came back from Thailand. So I was like, come, I'll bring you back to Thailand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Who do you know in the Philippines? Pakil. Uh, Pakil the boxer? Yeah, I like it, Pakil. <laughs> Why I do you like? like the Philippines lady. <laughs> why do you, why do you like Pacquiao? Oh, she very smart. Translation. I like it. Keep keep boxing. Oh. Right now, he Pacquiao he go fight the Bull Hao next year. Oh, and who do you want to win? Oh, I think I think Pacquiao. You think Pacquiao? I think Pacquiao. I Not think. even your own people, huh? No, it's okay, but yeah, Pacquiao he have a. But I love Pacquiao. You love Pacquiao? Huh? I know Pacquiao. I'll tell him you love him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I love to you too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> how do you how do you prepare this? So what we do is we uh, roll the balls up, mash sweet potato, tapioca, rice flour, put it in here. It's gonna rise up and then we start smashing it. Smashing it's gonna help make the balls bigger. Oh, okay. Up a little bit like a balloon. So then inside, what it's gonna be like, it's gonna be kind of like mochi consistency. Mm -hmm. and the outside's gonna be nice and crispy. Oh, wow. Yeah. People probably could eat this like a hundred of this a day. It's not very heavy, right? Yeah, some, some people they come back for like three rounds sometimes. Yeah. Great. How about How about you? What's your name? Oh, I'm <laughs> And do you still go back to Thailand? 
Oh, every year. Oh, oh. every year you have money. Two, Not like him. <laughs> so it's okay even it's hot, but you have money, you go to Thailand. Visit. Yeah. He was just in Thailand. Oh. And then so I told him, come, come see this place, see if it's comparable to the food there. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it too, but that lady said, <laughs> Thank you. Cup and cup. All right, guys. Well, this is pretty much everything we have. Um, why don't you tell them what we got? All right. The first thing that we got is pad thai. And staple. Staple, standard. I actually don't eat a lot of pad thai. She's but the one I that do. ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ceci, do the honors. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've been here before. I've had this before. I, this is my fourth time having this, so I know it's good. She, she knows it's good. Mm. Whoa, 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 wait for me. <laughs> so good that Very she good couldn't night. wait. All right, cheers, guys. <laughs> All right? Mm, that's a solid pad thai. That is very good. Yeah, nice amount of protein in there. The noodles are nice and chewy. Um, there's some citrus on there. Residual from the lemon, even though we haven't squeezed any on there yet. Do you like yours with lemon? I do, I do, but they, they usually already have some lemon, so it's like it's just a little extra if you need a little extra there. And what I like about this pad thai is it's not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of places here in the States. That's more um, American, right? Yeah, that makes pad thai really sweet. So this is really good. You can taste the smokiness of it from the wok. I can see why. I mean, he describes it a lot better than me. I just like it because it tastes good. Every other detail, listen to him. That's all that matters, right? As long <laughs> as it tastes good. That's why he's here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ceci, what do we have next? What's your next all favorite? All right. So the next one is, this is their egg roll. Okay. But I don't think there's egg in it, right? No. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think it's just called egg roll. Yeah. But um, I also, I ordered. So anything you see that's fried and unhealthy, I order. <laughs> Everything else that's like salad -y, and healthy, he ordered. Just a little bit. Just, just, just little so bit. you guys know. So. Let's try this egg roll out, yeah. you guys. Cheers. Mmm. No, it's very good. Very crunchy. Amazing. What it's, do you think? It's really good. You can taste the, the mushrooms, the mm -hmm. cabbage, and the glass noodles in here. This is a vegetarian egg mm -hmm. roll, huh? And doesn't this remind you of the ones that you could get on the street in mm -hmm. Thailand? Yeah. Just like street food, amazing. Yeah, total street food. You yeah, get pretty much any night market in Thailand, especially in Bangkok. Bangkok has a ton of night markets, mm -hmm. or even just a ton of like food alleys and things in general. Solid, solid right? egg roll. So far, nice, light, crispy, I'm not overly I'm two for two. Oily. Everything I order, he likes. The bar is high. Just so you guys know. A little background he's also a chef so like he's like one of the biggest foodie friend i know that's why every time i want to like try different foods i want to take him just to get a professional opinion because my opinion is just it's either good or bad <laughs> <laughs> not a chef guys just a cook just a cook <laughs> i just like to cook all right all right ceci shrimp again fried guys shrimp. fried <laughs> fried shrimp these why look not? like uh pinkle <laughs> fried shrimp mm -hmm. um Right off the bat, I'm mm. touching them. I can hear her mm. crispiness, crunchiness from it. Um, it feels really light. Really good. Actually, this is my first time trying this. Because last time I was here, they ran out. And I was very sad. So this time I made sure we came a little early. What do you think? Solid shrimp. <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty standard. I don't think you can get any better, mm -hmm. right? Maybe I would have just preferred a tiny bit more seasoning to it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's why the sauce is there. Yeah. Okay. All right. We have a lot of sweet stuff. I know. Soon, right? Before this, let's go to the pie salad first. To the salad, guys. <laughs> All right. So, som tum is one of my favorite things to eat in Thailand. I eat it almost every day. Uh, different styles. Sometimes I like the Thai style, which is a little sweeter and sometimes I like the more Lao style, which is more fermented and saltier. So it really just depends on what day and what I'm feeling that day. And today I'm feeling a little bit Thai style, um, just to see if it's as good as the ones I had in Thailand. 
And um, I actually got medium spice. You could ask them for how spicy you want it. Thailand is known for their spice. And over there, medium is like hot, according to American standards, right? So let's try it out. I actually, guys, eat a lot of papaya salad. I did not realize there were different kinds of it. I usually just order papaya salad so, and enjoy it. <laughs> so now you know. <laughs> now I know. Um, so, but also, guys, I don't eat spicy, so let's see. Oh, oh, I didn't know that, so let's see. Guys, it's spicy. That it, cake comes through this, right off the bat. <laughs> you good? <laughs> <laughs> guys, you said mild? Medium. This is medium. So, so for me, guys, this is spicy, spicy. So in Thailand, usually when you go to a restaurant, they don't have mild, medium, or hot, right? They don't have those three levels. They have one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10 or 20 chilies. All the way up to death. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, you just tell them how spicy do you want it. You could say like three chilies, four chilies, or you could just tell them little spicy or a lot spicy, which is this. <laughs> this. this is not too bad, not too bad. But I've developed my tolerance um, from Thailand, so I like this a lot. He, this is how you could tell how good of our friendship is. He does not know I don't eat spicy. I could die right now. <laughs> I forgot to ask, but it's always fun to get the first time reaction, right you guys? It's really good guys, but it's mm -hmm. spicy. Flavor is on point right here. This is a little more sour than what I'm used to, but I actually like it like this. Um, everything is fresh. You can taste the freshness of the green beans, the papaya, the tomatoes in there. Um, it would be nice if there was a couple more shrimps, but that's just me being mm. picky. Um, but solid papaya salad or som tum. Som tum if you do. Okay. Your money fell. Oh. Is it mine? You could have it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the other lady. <laughs> want, to take another, right. want to take another bite? No, I'm good. <laughs> um, All right. <laughs> I'm really good. <laughs> but it's very good, guys. One more for good luck. All right. Sassy, back oh, to you. This is like, I've been eating this before we started rolling. This. This one is why I keep coming back here. So, to be honest guys, I really don't know what it is. I just like eating it and ordering it. He'll tell you what it is actually. Yes, I'll jump. <laughs> this is where I come in. You. <laughs> I just eat stuff. <laughs> this was like one of the first stalls that you see when you're walking in, mm -hmm. if you're walking in on the left side of the plaza, right? So this little ball right here, mm -hmm. you wanna start with this one? Yeah. This is a sesame ball. Yes. So it's like a mochi ball and inside there's like a mung bean paste. And, and it's like it's really, really like perfect circle. Right? Yeah, super perfect. Like compared to how I usually see it, like, like the way they see this, they made this, perfection. It's like really light, you can already tell it's really crispy. And you can see the cook frying yeah. it up fresh. Like took a lot of love back. and a lot of labor for this. All but right, let's guys. try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, this is good. All right. Okay, so this one doesn't have mung bean in it. <laughs> it's just <laughs> pure mochi and rice flour, mm -hmm. but it's really good. Very, very good. Lots of flavor. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. This reminds me of uh, walking the streets of Bangkok because you, you would see like street vendors just making, frying these balls mm. like right on the side of the street. And you see a lot of locals that come, they'll stop by, take a little bag for a, a snack to walk mm -hmm. back to their work or during their work break. Like it's very light. Like you could eat like, 20 of this. Oh yeah, those are yeah, dangerous. Right? They're super light. Very light. Easy to eat. All right, what's All right. next? Because I know there's like three different kinds there. Yeah, there's three different kinds. This looks like, okay, let's move to, oh shoot. Oh no. We lost one, you guys. We lost one. But that might be we pretty might, good. We might still eat it. <laughs> All right, All right this let's is, this one. it looks like a taro fritter. This Whatever is, he says, this guys. Is actually, <laughs> So this is a taro fritter, basically sticks of taro dipped in a batter and fried. I've actually never had a fried taro uh, in um, Thailand before, so this is actually my first out. time. All right, cheers. All right, cheers. 
I know it's fried guys, but actually, I actually feel like I'm eating something very healthy, <laughs> right? <laughs> this some, actually makes me feel good a little bit. You're getting some vegetables in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting my veggies. Um, yeah, right? I don't know if you guys can hear mm. that crunch, but it's there. Mm -hmm. I really like the flavor of the batter. The batter is really good, right? Yeah, it's, there's like a slight sweetness again to mm -hmm. it. Not overly sweet. And then the taro. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. The taro is good, but to me, it's a little dry to my liking, mm -hmm. so. Again, guys, his picking, I eat whatever is good. <laughs> so, you know, this is probably going to be my least favorite out of the oh. three. Right? Just because it's a little dry. Right. Still really good, though. Oh. I finished mine. I'm, I'm like almost eating. It. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> Finished it, guys. She found me out. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. M moving on to the the best of the best. The best of the best in here. Where is it? <laughs> we found it. I think. This one I already know is good because I've been eating it prior to filming. <laughs> so, so the cook actually gave us a little sample in the back as we were watching them make it fresh. And so I had a full interview, guys, but you guys will never see it. <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> Somebody did not press record. <laughs> but the, the, the cook, um, she was just making it. And she, we asked her how many she thinks she makes a day. And all she said was... Like non-stop. Non she just keeps doing it until they run out of bananas. A lot. A lot. <laughs> and they prepared this like two days ahead. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. So they were like the batter and everything. They want to make sure it's all marinated. So that when they cook it, it's nice and crispy and still fully cooked inside. So wow. Oh, I'm yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. The best. If anything, when I come here, this is the one thing that I always look forward to. So good. So good. Nice, crunchy, mm -hmm. uh, sweet. You get the sweetness both from the batter and from the bananas. And it's uh, plantain bananas, I think, mm -hmm. they used here. Indian bananas, they said. Oh, Indian bananas. I stand corrected. Indian bananas. So it's a little on the firm side, so it still has that texture mm -hmm. to it. Really good, guys. If anything, go here and get the bananas. Okay. This is one of my yeah. favorite things in Thailand. I'd go bananas eat. in the circle and in the towel, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to my favorite, I've one of my favorite things in best. Thailand. It's called Kanam Krok. And basically, it's a crispy coconut pancake. Mm. And you could get it plain, or they have different toppings on it. Today I got ones with, I got plain, and then I got ones with corn, and then one with taro. And they come in pairs like this. So, oh, okay. Let's try it out. Got it, okay, perfect. Let's try the taro Which one, one first. is this, taro? This taro, okay. yeah. There you go, guys. All right, guys, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Would this be considered a dessert? This is dessert, but they have savory mm -hmm. versions mm -hmm. as well. That's good. I, I like coconut, so this is like... This is like really rich in coconut. Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. This is my thing to go to. Yeah, I could see that. Um, but I do wish it was just a tiny bit crispier. Mm. I know this has been sitting under the heat lamp for a little bit, so that's probably why. But trust me, guys. When you guys have this fresh right off the thing they cook it in, it's amazing. Mm. Let's try one more. Got the corn. Okay. Oh. So we got the corn look here, at this, guys. guys. It has corn in it. This is a very typical topping in Thailand. So don't be afraid to eat the corn and coconut. Wow. Oh, Cheers. Fancy. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That was good. Solid condom crock definitely satisfies the, the taste buds and yeah. just the cravings. Yeah. Let's try this. What is this one? So, this one <laughs> is like a crispy, again, pancake. The, the Thai name of it is not coming up to my mind right now. I'm sorry, guys. That's my rookie mistake. 
Come He'll on. edit it and put it in the bottle. <laughs> yes, it will go in the <laughs> bottle. I know what this is. I've had it before. Um, I've but never inside, had it before. it's basically like a coconut cream, and then these shavings are oh, cured uh, egg, yo egg oh, yolks. Oh, interesting. And they might be salted egg yolks, but I'm not sure. Um, Let's find here. out. But we'll see. Cheers. It's like a little sweet and savory oh, wow. reaction. Cheers, it's almost, It almost looks like too perfect for me to bite it. I don't know where to start. You still just got to bite it like a taco. Okay. Mm. Mm, it definitely tastes like the waffle cone when you get ice cream. Mm -hmm. All right. I need a few more bites for me to figure this out. So it's a very unique taste. It's probably it is. I'm like really confused right now. <laughs> yeah, the combination of it, you probably won't have ever tasted anywhere else. It's very sweet, so that sweetness hits you right off the top. Might even be too sweet for me. And the egg yolk just comes in mm -hmm. and hits you with just a tiny bit of creaminess, texture to it, but that's about it. Yeah. And then in Thailand, they have a lot more different toppings that go oh, on to okay. this. So they go savory as well and sweet as well. It just depends on what you feel during the day. We save the best for last. Mango sticky rice. And it looks like they have um, pandan sticky rice mm -hmm. and then just regular sticky rice as well. Thank you. Uh -huh. And then Perfect. we already poured some coconut into mm -hmm. it, coconut milk. Do the honors. Oh my God. Ladies first. This is like what I look forward to. So I do half and half. Half and half, that's a pro tip, guys. <laughs> that's a pro move mm. right there. Mm. The pandan rice is actually really good. The pandan one? Uh huh. I'm gonna try the rice alone first. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Right? That's good. The pandan flavor jumps All right. right out at you. It's very pronounced. Yes. Right? Really good. I've never had a pandan sticky rice that has this much flavor in it just yet. Don't be shy. I'm waiting. So whatever he doesn't eat, I eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next, the whole... Regular mango sticky rice. Uh -huh. mm. Good. Sol just right, right? Yeah, just right. Solid mango sticky rice. The coconut cream. It's just right, not too watery, not too sweet. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I like it on the thicker side. And then the mangoes, perfectly ripe. Um, these are not Thai mangoes, so the flavor is gonna be a little different right. if you ever had mango sticky rice in Thailand. But it's very close, so it, it does the job. And um, yeah, they, they picked out their mangoes really well. It's mango season right now, so make sure you guys come and get your mango sticky rice. That's because right. A lot of places over here, when mangoes are not in season, they do not have mango sticky rice on their menu. Yes. Um, and if they do, it's very sour mangoes or mangoes that aren't fully ripened yet, so it's not that great, right? So, oh That's man. That's I mean, you guys should definitely check out this place. I think this place is like one of like the secrets here in Los Angeles, right? Not a lot of people know this spot. Not a lot of people know. I didn't know about it. Right. It's legit, guys. This is very, very similar to Thailand and I can say that with confidence because I've been there like eight times including He's a lived three there. month stay. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. We're gonna finish all this Alright guys, so yeah. we're leaving this place. We're back at our favorite spot right here with Ken. Yes. But his real name is? What's your real name? Your full name? Uh, first name Kombola Singh. Kombola Singh. Yeah, Thailand. And from Thailand. Yeah. He's single. If anybody's interested. Yeah. But I need open single. He needs an open relationship. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys are interested, he is in North Hollywood. Don't trust him. She said do not trust him, yeah, never mind. Everybody he talks he talk like that. Everybody <laughs> he talks like that. <laughs> but we if you wanna find him, we are at Wat Thai in North Hollywood and they are the first stall and he makes this good potato balls right here with the mochi inside. He has a lovely personality, girl. So if you guys are interested, come and match with him. I, I like that lady Philippine. 
for all the Filipino girls out there, come, come find Ken. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. I love you. <laughs>